Meh. Mason missed this buck mostly because I told him the wrong yardage, but still, I could tell he was down on himself. But, a few minutes later, his second chance appeared. Yes! Oh. oh, that looks like a good hit. Yes, yes. That's a velvet deer. Yeah, I saw him run out, and then... Start walking this way right when he was over by there. I fell back. I followed up right there. I walked. That's a velvet deer. That's a velvet deer. That's a velveted deer right there. That's velvet. Dad, that is not hard, but that's still a good shot. That's a velveted deer right there. That's a two-pointer too. <laughs> Look at that, a buck in full velvet, bud. Look at that. I could see it's starting to come off right hey, there. Hey, you're starting to split. Yeah, right there. That is awesome. Perfect shot. I don't see any blood. Yeah. How are we going to do this? Oh no. Putting that sand pill tag to use. We talk about the big one that got away and the ones that didn't. And how we felt when we finally bagged that trophy. Oh man, I miss it. We share secrets, strategies, and the gear that we prefer. 
And we plan, scheme, and dream Till the nights are blurred This is the story of the ones we love And the tales we've spun I don't even know what to say. He walked off really slow. Oh, I thought I was maybe going to be able to get another arrow in him, but... <clears throat> I tried to glass him too when he was walking away and I just couldn't. I didn't see any blood coming out, I think I might have missed. There's blood right there, but it, oh, it looks like, it looks almost like some hair in it too. I might look for that arrow just a tad more and um, I do know I hit the buck and I can, I can see blood uh, going where he rent took off to, so, um, there's hope. I didn't. I didn't miss, anyways. All right. So it's Friday, it's Friday October 13th. Uh, hopefully we get uh, a little lucky on what's known as unlucky day. But it's the day after I shot that eight pointer. Um, the shot, as we could see on the film, was a little bit low and a little bit back. Um, I've had quite a few people look at the shot. Some people are saying. You know, it's a dead deer. Other people are saying straight gut shot. Um, I don't think it's a straight gut shot because I found blood at the sh at uh, the point of the shot, and he bedded down relatively close to where we saw him. We uh, elected to get out of there and not look until tomorrow morning because I did see him. I did bump him from his initial bed last night. He was just too close to the stand and. He got up and he maybe went 50 yards, so me and Mitchell are going to go look for him this morning and uh, we're hoping he didn't go far, um, but other than that, I'm just crossing the fingers hoping that it was a lethal shot and that I didn't cause this deer undue pain, so hopefully we can find him. That's the goal this morning. Found him! Whew. Where is he? I don't know if he's alive. He might be alive? I don't know. He's looking. His ears aren't moving. Oh, he blinked. He blinked. Did he blink? He's alive. Yeah, he's alive. I just put one behind his shoulder right now then? You're gonna have to. He's definitely alive. What just happened? Dude, he was... He was still bedded, he was alive still. He was still bedded down. Oh, I've got a good shot on him though right there. I don't think he's, he's, that's gonna be where he, he's done. <laughs> Dude.
that. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, and you said he was alive, or when you said you found him, I thought for sure he was gonna be bunched up, or he must have healed up. That must not have must not have hit liver because he was just cold. He was, <laughs> yeah. That cold might have saved us. Let's go check yeah. out his bed. Well, that's the arrow that we just put through him. If you look in his bed where I shot him. Just now, there's just barely any blood. He had to healed up. And he was just bedding on top of this hill where he can, you know, kind of see some stuff that's pretty thick back, back in here. And I don't know, I'm pretty sure with that shot we just put on him, he's gotta be done right there. I heard him crash. I think. So yeah, we heard him crash. So, dude, I can't believe that. <laughs> that was crazy. I've never never seen anything like that. <laughs> dude, that was, <laughs> that's something we're not gonna forget right there. That oh. was pretty unreal. Dude, dude that's a nice buck. I can't believe that just happened the way it did. Insane. He's quartering. When I slow it down, you hit him like in the very back of the rib cage, and it went in at an angle. So you easily caught liver, and uh, and uh, probably that offside lung. Is that blood? Here's my arrow. <laughs> That's good blood. See, your arrow went through him and it broke off on the outside. On the opposite side. So, do we wait now? Um, and I think we do I put stick my arrow? This, stick this in the ground right here. Should I just stick it down like that? Yeah, we won't need to reuse that broadhead. Yeah. And then um, we're going to get our stuff. And we're gonna sneak our way out. As we were trying to leave quietly to give him time before we tracked him, Tracy actually seen the buck lying just inside the fence. It's a blur. This is a story of hunting stories with family and friends. Memories we made will never come to an end. Two first bucks in a day. <laughs> that is crazy. A little six. Hunter, there's dough. 
was coming. Wonder there's another dome coming over here. Here, take this. doubled i just smoked a doe out here she didn't run 40 yards up this way we got more coming this way and there's a doe here at 10 yards we did the old switch i gave hunter my bow and uh he shot her at 10 yards and she piled up at oh she ran 20 yards maybe <laughs> piled up we just got a double <laughs> Here, Dad. That's that. awesome. And he used my trigger instead. <laughs> that is awesome. And then we were only out here for how long? Yeah, it is, right now it is 6.39. We got here at 6.20. Yeah, we just got here at, yeah, like he said, 15 after, quarter, 20 after, something like that. But they did combine this little strip of corn up here, and I told Hunter on the way out here, I said, I think that's going to help us because, uh, it's gonna kind of keep the deer back long enough that it's not going to us walking in. They they should be should be fine. So we snuck into the tree and yeah, 15 minutes later, 20 minutes later, we got two deer on the ground. That is crazy. <laughs> Let's go look for mine. <laughs> Quartering away. That's awesome. Nice size doe too. Yeah. Not bad. No. Keep watching, it's gonna come.
some of that. Yes. <laughs> second time. That's your second deer. I think I heard a crash over there too. Yep, I think so. Over time, certain instances can change who you are and what you do. Since that evening in 2012, my life has changed. I don't have the feeling of need to fill my buck tag to be successful. I find my success in watching my family succeed in the very sport I grew up loving. Watching them make some of the very same mistakes I've made and being there with them as they overcome the burden from those mistakes. I still have not filled my buck tag since 2011, and I don't see me filling it for many years to come. But I honestly wouldn't want it any other way. Mark. Oh, I tried to think I caught it. You caught him. You caught yes. him. You yes. Yes. Oh. Hey, man. man, I'm sorry. I didn't get on. I, I'm pretty sure I didn't get on tape. Oh. But that's a great book, man. Oh. You caught him. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Can you believe that? No. It was a big deer, man. Oh. <laughs>
Oh, yeah, I kid you not. Um, I don't think that's the one Mason and I've been seeing. I told you guys there was a bigger eight pointer. Yeah. I think that was him. Whoa. I think that was the other bigger. One. I looked over. I <laughs> seen the straight away. I seen the buck, and I'm like, holy crap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like I said, I didn't get it. I didn't. Yeah. Um, where'd you hit him? It was right in the shoulder. I think his. I think Smoked it broke him. his shoulder. Smoked him. Yeah, it went. I think the arrow went through. Come here. <laughs> Let's keep it a little bit. Oh, I can't. it's sweet. That is three fifty for me. Hey, that thing is big. That is a big A pointer, man. Hunter's buck made for a great ending to our season, but safety was always on our mind after October 30th. We always wore our safety harnesses, but we learned that so much more needs to be done when hunting from tree stands. Dawson did make a full recovery and is back to bow hunting, but we all realize it could have been a lot more serious. Every season since that day, we focus mostly on safety and making sure Dawson is the last to fall.
ourselves a bear, baby. Yes? Yeah, buddy. Yes! Got him. Found him. There he is. Yeah, buddy. Yes. Let's take a look. Oh. He's got a good size head. Yeah, he's, he's a big guy. This is a nice bear.